Broadcasting from Cincinnati. You're listening to the Ringside Reporter Podcast. All the news from the world of boxing right here. Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Now, here's your host, Eric Lorda. At the end of the day, I, I really don't mind. I, I really don't care about who give me credit and who don't. You know, my main thing is being the best agent runner that I can be. And as long as I go to sleep knowing that I gave my all, then you know what? Uh, I can care less what somebody else thinks. But you know, um, you know, you know, my 2017 and. And further on, resolution is, you know, I just want to be more positive. You know, so if there's anybody that, that, that want to speak negative on my name, you know, that's okay. And I still love them. And, and if there's anybody speaking positive on my name, you know, I love them too. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying to better myself and better my situation. What do you think? You sparred Granados. What do you remember from those sparring sessions? Anything? Uh, I remember everything. You know, I, I got an elephant brain. <laughs> I can tell you, I, I can tell you my whole kindergarten class. But you know, uh, I can tell you one thing. You know, he's tough. You know, he's tough as nails. And you know, um, you know I say, you know, uh, you gonna need more than a hammer to to put him down. Um, but you know, uh, I'm not just some ordinary hammer. <laughs> you know, and. You know, I just feel like, you know, the focus that that my mind frame is in right now, you know, nobody's going to beat me. Are you expecting, like, a Maidana type of style from him in the ring? Listen, I want to say this to you guys and, and to everybody else. You know, there's only one Maidana. There's only one Maidana. Am I, am I upset that he uh, uh, retired? Of course, absolutely. Did I want that fight again? Absolutely. Am I happy for him? Absolutely. He's a great friend of mine. You know, you know uh, and I wish him the best. And, you know, um, I know he's going to come to fight. He's going to throw a lot of shots. And um, I'll be ready for whatever he brings to the table. What's it feel like working with Big Bro Floyd again? I mean, obviously the last time was in April. You guys did big numbers then. I believe it was a sellout in D.C. I'm sure you're probably expecting another sellout in your hometown. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> Drew said, yeah, right. It's not, it's, not, it's not about an after party. It's about the win. You look, you look like you're ready to fight right now. Oh, yeah, we in shape. I've been, I've been doing, uh, I've been doing thirty. Uh, um, I've been doing thirteen to fifteen rounds for I'm ready. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I'll definitely be ready. You done ripped your jacket, man. Huh? <laughs> you ripped your jacket. Now you have to get Let me get a picture. Yeah. Get the best with the best. Uh oh. <laughs> you call Floyd a mentor. Why? Um, he, he, he always there, man. He always there for me. You know, uh, you know, he's somebody that, 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 that call me when I'm wrong or call me when I'm right. And, um, you know, uh, his words are very valuable to me. What have you learned from Floyd? Uh, I really can't tell everybody what I've learned. But I, 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 I've learned a lot. And, um, you know, you know, uh. I just, I, I just, I just like all, all the advice he gives me. What's more valuable, the in the ring advice or the out of the ring advice? I just want to know what you got. There you go. I bet money line. I bet twenty. I bet twenty thousand money line. It brought back fifty six thousand. Yeah. Money line. Money line. Sick. That's the why I don't do it. He told me not to do it. <laughs> that's the out of the he ring did. advice. That's the out of. That's the, he said. He said. Ab, don't ever get into this, and I never bet it on on sports in my life. Mm. Nice. Will Gary Russell be on the undercard here? Huh? Gary Negative. Russell. You know, um, 
Um, I wanna I wanna give a very shout out, a very special shout out to uh, Gary Russell, and um, I hope him the best, and um, I hope his next performance is a uh, quite explosive, and I hope he come out on top. What about Hank Lundy? Is he gonna be on the other side? I know he just fought. I was I saw you last. No, week. he he just fought. Um, I was just at his last fight. Yeah, and Cincinnati, yeah. And Cincinnati, he won the um the UD, UDF title. UDF, yeah, you, no, the UDF I'm just, title. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you know, Hank Lundy's my boy, man. I'm I'm very happy for him. He's a world champion now. That's right. That's right. And you know, um, I wish him the best. Awesome. Thank you. So you've been doing good. You're happy. You're in a good place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they say uh, happy wife. Happy life, and uh, my wife is happy. speech about you. Right here. Thanks for listening to the Ringside Reporter Podcast. Check us out on the web at www.ringsidereporter.com. On Twitter at Ringside73. And like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ringside73. Subscribe to us on iTunes.